Hello, my name is Steve Power, and I live in China. For now. I'm in the middle of what you might call a very mild existential crisis. This means that while it's not crippling to my day-to-day -day life, it's something that I can't really ignore. I've been in China for... 14 months now. Jesus. The longest I had spent away from home, Newfoundland, before moving to China was about 11 days. So this has been a bit of a stretch for me. The thing that I can't really get my mind wrapped around is change. How do things change? How has my home changed? How have I changed since I've been away? I'm not sure that change is always a good thing. objectively that change means progress, and progress is usually a good thing, but I can't reconcile that with returning home to Newfoundland. I mean, I've made something of myself here in China. I've built a very different sort of life. Relatively healthier because my job keeps me active all the time. I'm making more money than I've ever made in my life. I'm traveling around, I've got freedom and independence, and I've made a lot of really cool friends and connections. I'm not even sure what's going to be the same about home when I get there. Am I going to recognize it at all? So many people have had babies and marriages and are getting their dream jobs and building houses and coming out to their parents and moving all over the place. Who is even still in Newfoundland? Is someone running the lights? place that I left. Home will never be there anymore. Home has become this transient sort of concept for me now. Home is where I make it. And for a while I chose to make it here in China. And now I'm moving back to Canada and I'm choosing to make it there. But for how long? I mean, that remains a mystery to me. This is what being an adult feels like. This is what an existential crisis feels like. A mild one. if I moved home and I found that everything was creepy and weird and slightly uneven. This might not be about home anymore. I suppose all I can really hope for, and all that I've ever been able to really hope for, is that I can adapt. I made it to China alright. I've survived here. Things have gone alright so far. How long am I going to stay in Canada for? Is this the last time that I'm going to live slash work in China? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I suppose there's only one way to find out. When all is said and done, hair grows back. Life moves on. Change is inevitable. I know everything is going to be okay. My life's been just whew, on an upward trajectory this whole time. So I'm not worried about what comes next. Because eventually, things really do have a way of coming full circle. My name is Steve Power, and I live in China. For now. <sighs> Should have kept the goatee. It looked good. My face is cold.